Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to register the M32, sign up for your three month trial to complete now, get your copy of Ableton Live Lite, and install everything you need using Native Access. The first thing we want to do is download Native Access 2, Native Instruments application for downloading, activating, and updating all of your NI products, as well as managing your subscriptions. Inside the M32 box, you'll find a card with the hardware serial and a setup website. Enter this URL into your web browser. You can choose to download Native Access for Windows, Intel Macs, or Macs using the M1 chip depending on your computer specifications. I'm using an Apple M1 Mac, so I'll select Mac M1. Open the file that was just downloaded and drag Native Access to the Applications folder. Double click on the Applications folder, find Native Access, and double click to open. If you already have a Native Instruments account, or what we call a Native ID, you can log in with the email and password you used when you created your account. If you don't have a Native ID yet, click on Sign Up Now, enter your first and last name, a valid email address, password, and accept the EULA and terms and conditions, and click Create. Before we explore Native Access, you'll want to register the M32 so that the products that are included with the keyboard are added to your account allowing you to install them. In the bottom left of Native Access, click Add Serial, enter the hardware serial that is on the card. You can also find this serial on the back of your keyboard. In addition to the products that come with the M32, you also get a three-month trial to complete now, Native Instruments subscription to a curated bundle of essential instruments and effects that is continually adding new products. Once you register the M32, you will get an email which includes a voucher code for the three months of complete now. Click on Redeem Voucher, and then click Try It Free. Log in using the email and password for your Native ID and click Log In. Click Apply Coupon, enter the voucher code you received in the email, click the arrow to apply the voucher, and then click Proceed to checkout. Once you've completed the checkout process, everything that's included in Complete Now will automatically be available in Native Access. With the M32, you also get a copy of Ableton Live Lite, so we'll show you how to get that installed. After you registered the M32, you'll receive an email titled, Download Information for Your Native Instruments Purchase. If you can't find this email in your inbox, make sure to check your spam folder. In your email, scroll down to the Ableton section and click Get Your License. If prompted, log in with your Native ID and then click Request License. You'll then receive an email with the subject, Activate your serial number for Ableton Live Lite. Click on Download Ableton Live Lite. Select which type of computer you have and click Download. When the download is complete, open the file that was just downloaded, click Agree, and then drag Ableton into your Applications folder and wait until Ableton has been copied over. Now go to your Applications folder, find Ableton Live 11 Lite, and double-click to open. Once Ableton's open, click on AuthorizeWithAbleton.com. If you already have an Ableton Live account, you can log in, otherwise, fill in your information on the right to create an account. Enter the registration code you received in the email, and click Submit. The registration info will then be sent back to Ableton Live on your computer, and then your copy of Ableton Live Lite will be authorized. We've installed Native Access, registered the M32 and Complete Now, and have Ableton installed. Let's jump back over to Native Access and start installing some instruments. When browsing through Native Access, you can either view everything in the grid view like it's currently set, or the list view by double-clicking this icon in the top right. I'll go back to the grid view. The Library tab is where you'll find all of your products. At the top, I can view all 
which will show me everything that's installed, not installed, and things that need updating. I can see what I already have installed here and what is available to install. Let's click Available. The next filtering option lets you further refine what you see in the browser below. For this tutorial, there are a couple of things we'll need to install. Let's click on Applications. The first program that we want to make sure is installed is Complete Control. Click the Install button and wait for Complete Control to finish installing. Complete Control is a plugin that organizes all of your instruments, effects, loops, samples, and allows you to access all of the features of the M32. You don't have to use the Complete Control plugin to control Ableton, but installing Complete Control will install all of the required files you need in order for the integration to be set up properly. Two other important applications we want to install are Contact and Reactor. Click Install for both of these. Contact and Reactor are host applications and are needed to run many of the instruments from Native Instruments and other plugin companies. These icons here indicate if this instrument is a Contact or Reactor instrument. Don't worry if you forget to install Contact or Reactor. When you click on the Install button for one of these instruments, Native Access will automatically install these before the library you've selected is installed. The Subscription tab below Library is where you'll be able to view, install, update, and manage your subscription to complete now. You're able to see and install everything in this list back in the Library tab, but this area shows you what's included in Complete Now. A few key things you'll want to install to get the most out of Complete Now are Battery 4 and Massive X. Battery 4 is a sampler and is used to play back the kits from the Battery Now library. Massive X is one of the most powerful synths from Native Instruments, and some products like Bump or Fade are preset expansions specifically for Massive X. At this point, you're free to choose any other instruments and effects you want to install. If you'd like to install everything at once, go back to the Library tab and click Install All. Once you've installed everything you'd like, you're now ready to set up the M32 with Ableton Live Lite and start creating music. For a detailed guide on how to set up the M32 with Ableton Live, check out the next video in this series. Thanks for watching.